Right, welcome back to Made by Manj. Today I'm building the TV unit, you see in the thumbnail. I'll put a picture like there somewhere, like the other YouTubers. All I've used for this is one piece of ply, full sheet, four foot by eight foot, or 1.2 meters by 2.4 meters. Would cost me 40 pound, uh, B&Q, Wix, America, I'm guessing it's 30, 40 dollars. It's free if you steal it, but don't do that because I'll get banned from YouTube. All right, guys, I use the website called Optica to plan my cuts. It just helps you reduce waste if you're tired of material. I'm voiceovering because captions save me forever, by the way. Um, here's some random clips of me cutting these pieces down to size. These pieces are actually the mounting method, so a simple 45 degree cut will do the job. These holes I'm adding are helping to keep the bottom section cool. This is where I've got all the wires and the power packs and whatnot. I've used a hole saw to drill this out then finish it off on the table router. These holes on the back of the unit are for the wires to pass. Always remember to use a scrap bit of wood underneath to avoid tear out. This section here I've got fancy. I'm using magnets on the ends of this panel to keep it in place. 10mm magnet held in with super glue. That's the trick. Here I'm using pocket holes, first time using these but it's done the trick and it helps clean all the surfaces as free as possible. Also remember here, whenever you're working with thin pieces of wood, use a pilot hole to stop the wood splitting. Ta-da! The fun bit, this is actually the same black wood die from the mirror project before, so if you haven't seen it, Go and give that a watch, like, subscribe, backflip. I used four coats in total. Now I also did oil all the pieces before assembly. Do not do that. I was impatient waiting for a delivery, but I didn't I remember that I'd have to glue these. So to actually fix that, I had to sand back and degrease those bits. I was actually quite impressed how well this finish came out. So I was lucky enough to get a nice piece of ply. You can't always choose what you get. But as you can see, the color and the grain really pop. Feedback is always welcome guys. Drop a comment below. I hope I'm getting better at these videos. If I'm not, just leave a comment saying you suck or something. Probably did get a bit too heavy on the oil, but I had pieces next to me to put the excess on. Also remember, work in your oil, rub it in, but always wipe off the excess. That's why you can see me with the blue cloth or the lymph-free cloth. You never want to leave a surface shiny and oily.
Right, this stuff, guys, is called edge banding, or I believe it was melanin. Comes in all sorts of colors, sizes, different methods, possibly. The one I have here, you just simply iron on. It's got a glue back in, and it it was easy to use. To be fair, done the job. Gives you a good finish on all your edges. When I'm doing it here, this isn't the proper way to do it, but I just try to help you guys see how it works. So with the iron, you can see it sort of softens and melts the glue underneath. Right, moment of truth guys. Drum roll please. Look at that. Go on son. Downside, I need to redecorate the living room to match. Thanks for watching guys.